This video will discuss the marketing mix, which is commonly known as the four P's. These four P's are the parameters that the marketing manager can control, subject to the internal and external constraints of the marketing environment. It's important to understand that all four P's need to work together to satisfy the needs of the customer. You can offer a brilliant product at the right price, at the right place, but if you've got a weak marketing communication strategy, the image of the product may not be desirable, or potential customers may not even know that you exist. A good way to understand the four P's is by the questions that you need to ask to define your marketing mix. So let's start with product. If you're, say, in the soft drink category, what needs does your product satisfy? Is it simply to fill a thirst or to enhance performance? What features or benefits does your product offer? And are they really what the consumer wants? Do you have various products for various needs? Consider sizes, flavors, packaging, naming, and the brand logo. To elaborate on place, let's take Levi's as an example. Where do buyers look for your product? Levi's have decided to create their own Levi's stores as an option, as well as placing themselves in department stores, such as Studdifords and Edgar's. From an online perspective, buyers can buy Levi's directly from the Levi's online shopping site or on other online retail sites, such as zando.co.za. By so doing, they've created a range of shopping experiences to suit the needs of various types of customers. When it comes to price, you need to consider what value the product or service provides to the buyer. Are there established price points for products or services in your category? Look at this example of price points for Audi on carfine.co.za. Similar cars, in terms of model, year and mileage, tend to ask similar prices. The reality is that it's now really easy for customers to compare prices. So as a marketer, do your homework. Another question to ask is, is the customer price sensitive? Will a small decrease in price gain you extra market share? Or will a small increase be unnoticed, resulting in greater profit margins? As discussed in Marketing One, the term promotion is somewhat confusing, and marketers now refer to IMC, or Integrated Marketing Communications. Here, the marketer needs to carefully select the most appropriate marketing communication tools. You also need to decide what messaging you want to send out and what media mix will best do the job. Will you reach your audience best by a TV or radio campaign, or by a social media campaign, or by using all of the above. And of course, you need to ensure that your marketing communications are relevant, memorable, and differentiated from the competitors out there. The key is to review your marketing mix regularly, as some elements will need to change as the product and its markets grow, mature, and adapt in an ever-changing marketing environment.